everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and the new subscribers, the old one. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, actually, if you have not subscribed to my channel, this is your first time. Please do not hesitate to subscribe and um, hit on the notification bell just down below to get uploads whenever i upload new videos actually today i'm actually going to be teaching you how to cut this puff this pencil sleeve that has a puff on top of it it actually this video is a requested video someone actually asked for it so that is what i'm actually gonna you can see it's just a pencil sleeve with a puff that is what i'm gonna be teaching you how to cut today if you actually find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button hitting on the like button actually makes me to know you actually appreciate what i do so that is just the essence if you're actually having any question regarding this video or other videos you can just drop a comment down in the comment section so that is it so now i'm gonna be doing a freehand cut for you but here actually i have a basic slip pattern but i'm not gonna be using this i'm just gonna be doing a freehand cut for you so it's really gonna be simple easy and very fast so i'm just making a straight line here just to indicate my my startup point so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now is the length of the the sleeve actually the length of the sleeve that i'm gonna be doing is um i'm actually gonna be doing um 10 inches then i'll add three inches to it because of the this puff for this puff so i'm adding three inches to it so actually here i have 13 inches here so i have 13 inches so this is my 13 inches so i just read it like this to this end so the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be measuring 3 inches. That this does this 3 inches now is for this puff. So remember I added it at the down part also that that's to the length. So now for the width, I'm going to be measuring 3 inches from here to this point. I'll measure 3 inches like this. And then from this 3 inches, I'll measure another one and a half inches here. So this is for my cuff actually then for basic um puff sleeve from the top point i'm actually going to be measuring you can me actually use this is like standard you can use between five and seven inches so actually i'm going to be using seven inches i'm making use of seven inches because i want it to be i want the curve i actually want it standing so that is why i'm using seven inches so the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be connecting it like this to this point. So that's just the basic. You can see it just so to this point. So this is this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be measuring out the actual measurement of the sleeve. So the first thing that's from this down point now, what I'm actually going to be measuring in measuring sleeves, like for people that are beginners, in measuring the round of your sleeve, you actually measure like this. You measure like this. So I think I'm just going to be making use of this measurement, which is 12. For 12 inches, when you measure like this, I have 12. That's the full round. So I'll divide it into two. I have six inches here. So I'll measure six inches like this. I measure six inches like this and then from the six inches i'll add you can decide to add one or two inch allowance i'll add two inch allowance like this to this point and then bring it up and just make a rule i'm coming to this point and make coming to this point because from this point you remember this one inch point that i added so this is where i'm going to be dragging my puff to from this point i'm actually going to be using 10 inches you can see the, the point here so that's 10 inches, which is for my round armhole. When you measure your round armhole, so that is that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, in, in getting an accurate sleeve, the first part I did was this down part. The next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be doing the upper part of the sleeve, which is this point up. I'm actually going to be measuring it. So most times, like what I normally do to my clients, I normally measure 
normally measure to get it to write. Like in Nigeria, most times they normally call it, they say you the Christian mother part of the hand. That's the for people that have fat sleeves, fat hands. So you measure to get it right, or else it will be tight. So that is what I normally do. So for this now, I'm gonna be using 14 inches. So for 14 inches, I have seven inches here for this, and then for this part now. I'll add three inches as my allowance so you can see the allowance is coming to this point and then to this point and then back to my armhole point and then to my puff point so like this and then this is my armhole and then this is the sleeve down if you actually want it elongated if you want it elongated for instance you want a long sleeve that you're going to be taking down all you have to do is just for you to increase the length I actually have 13 inches here for this i have 13 inches you just have to measure and you can get it up to like 19 inches so if it is 19 inches this i'm just adding this to this illustration for a long sleeve this is 19 inches so the next thing you're going to be doing now is just for you to measure for you to measure and make sure when you're measuring a long sleeve make sure you measure and then try and bring out bring it out from your hand the measurement or else you won't be able to it won't be able to fit into the client's hand so what i have here is nine inches so for nine inches that is like four and a half inch and then you can add for the down part you can add like between one and a half to two and a half inch to it and then you just take it down like this so this is it so this is just like a basic long sleeve and a puff so i'm just going to be cutting it out like this I'll make a notch here that's the three inches that i measure for the puff like i said initially like i said initially if i'm gonna be making this length that is like a, a, a an elbow sleeve i'm actually gonna be stopping it here this is for elbow but if i want it longer that's this point so i'll just take my my needle and thread okay sorry before then for the front arm hole all you have to do is just since i'm doing a free hand for the front arm hole so your hand so it will fit properly you can watch another of my video on how to on how to um shape your arm hole properly you can say i can raise up my hands perfectly well you can watch another of my video is there just go to my videos and then search for it for the front arm hole for this uh, this front arm hole it was actually taking in a bit so for this armhole for this front armhole all you have to do you just take it in a bit by half an inch just like this up to this point and then you trim it out and then you trim this is for the front part just a little trim like half an inch trim you just trim it out so this is the back but and then this is the front when you're fixing so for for the fixing before you start fixing this is what you do you just open up like this i'll open it up like this from this notch point to this notch point i'm actually going to be gathering it together in order for me to know so i don't miss it that's my three inches so i'm actually going to be Doing it like this. Make sure you stitch it together properly before you actually start connecting before you actually start fixing your sleeve or else you it will you you will miss it if you don't do it this way you can see it's already having this puff that i have on here you can just see it it is already having the puff you can see the puff so how big you actually want it will determine how many inches 
you actually use you remember for this i actually used three inches i used three inches for this if you want it bigger you can make it four inches you should actually want a bigger sleeve you just have to use your discretion so this is it this is the sleeve so this is it so when you fix so when you're fixing now you just fix this part to the front and then this part to the back at the end of the day you have something like this so this is simple and how you make your basic sleeve a freehand method so actually i've come to the end of this video like i said initially if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video and share my video thank you so much for watching and bye god bless you